Therefore we will open the signature editor to um, have a look in the signature file we've just created. Therefore I've prepared another signature file because the ones I've done beforehand was a little bit tricky because the layer state was containing just an automatic produced uh, VSK file which is some kind of standard from Air as imagine. Don't ask about that. It was a struggle to uh, come over this but once you have some kind of signature file open you can also create feature space layers. The feature space layer is something like the graph I've shown you before in the uh, in the explanation of the ISO data or k-means algorithm. So what we will do now we will just uh, search for our um, layer stack file. So I've done another layer stack for Berlin as well. You have to create an output root name because he is trying to um, create every uh, possible combination uh, of layers. So you will have one file or one feature space for the layers one for the layer one against the layer two also for the layer 2 against layer 3 and so on. So every possible combination is chosen here. And we will just create two, um, two different uh, feature spaces. So 2 underscore 5 and 3 underscore four, uh, 4. So we will also uh, like to show them um, directly in the viewer. That's fine for now. So it takes some time depends on the on the size of your scene so the new layer stack was a was a whole Brandenburg so it was uh, or it takes a little bit more computational time so what we you will find here now is uh, the combination of bands so this layer contains band number two against band number five and you will see some hot spots over here so just um, zoom in so you will have one kind of um, or you will have a lot of pixels um, belonging to this bulk over here. So um, this is probably one kind of special object in your scene. You can also check this here out. So it's the uh, band number three against band number four. Once again, you will find in the lower left corner some kind of um, cloud of pixels. You you also have this little spot over here. So I don't know whether it's it's a um, one class or another, and you can also see that you won't have will have some kind of density here, 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 here. So maybe in the end you will come out with six to seven classes if you're doing your unsupervised classification correctly, just by looking on the uh, on the feature space with band number three and band number four. But yeah, let's check whether our two classes, class 1 and 2, are separated nicely. Therefore, just check out, uh, check the class number 1, click on Feature, Objects, and what is done now, he will create an ellipse in a feature space viewer, so the viewer number 1 I will choose now, uh, and he will plot the ellipses with the standard deviation of 3. That means that uh, more than 99% of the pixels of class number 1 are con or are inside this ellipse. We will also like to plot the lay uh, means and the labels. But in beforehand, I will uh, change the name of the class. It's water, and just click OK. And what you can see now here is that you will have the center of the class water belong um, regarding its position to the band number two and band number five, and also the ellipse around. So in this ellipse, 99 per uh, 99 dot seven five percent or something like that so three three times the standard deviation of the class um, is shown here we can also change uh, the view to the feature space number two once again you will find this um, lower cloud over here containing the water and yeah you know, as I said as, as as I have said we would like to concentrate on whether these two classes water and forest are separated nicely. Therefore, just check both of them. Once again, we will use now band number 3 against band number 4. Viewer number 2, plot means and labels, go ahead. And as you can see here, you will have the class of water and the class of forest separated nicely in this view. Check out uh, the other view. Once again, water, forest. Oh, 
view number one, sorry for that. And once again, separate it nicely to classes. But you will also find some, uh, some um, classes separated not that nice. Uh, check out class number three, 13 and 14. These are agricultural fields. And as you can see, you have a big overlap in these classes. So that means that you can probably merge them together. Um, check these in the other feature space viewer. You can also see them um, separated, not that nice. And you will maybe ask, okay, which feature space I shall use? I've chosen uh, layer number three against layer number four because of the, uh, per mm, the big difference in the uh, vegetation. Um, um, reflectance in these bands and the layer number two against layer number five to separate uh, the water quite nice uh, and you will also see if I will create a feature space layer containing the information of band number one against band number two maybe that um, this is a nearby run uh, high correlated um, highly correlated feature space because you will see just one line and in this one line you cannot um, differentiate the two classes or three classes or seven classes. Just look at this. This is a band number one against band number two. It's just nearly one straight line with some kind of um, den more dense or m more um, pixels in the lower left corner and also for the uh, combination two against uh, one against three you will nearly have a straight line. So um, the best feature space is this one where you can separate different centers of um, or different agglomerations of pixels. So thanks, very, uh, thanks again for watching and stay, stay tuned.